welcome to my channel so today i will be going through the part 3 of the amazon sql interview questions uh, if you have seen my previous videos or you have subscribed to my channel then you could see that i already made part 1 and part 2 and this is the part 3 of the series uh, before i get started right uh, i i have a request to you guys that please subscribe to my channel uh, as well as like my videos that really helps me promote more and more content and make more and more content gives me a lot of encouragement uh, right i mean um, uh, i just wanted to bring up the things that my some of my friends right are not even able to clear the first round of technical interview uh, when they apply in amazon bie roles or data engineer roles and this video is right and the concepts that we cover here will definitely help you uh, clear the first round so uh, that's why i have a i have a request that please subscribe to my channel uh, okay let's get started so here there are in today's video there are two questions the first question is about like uh, they are asking write a query to list the product names that did not have any sales so for that the two tables that are used right so the product table uh, so product table has the data for all the products right so all the product like t-shirt jeans uh, and then uh, the product brand nike levi and then and the market right region for those those products and the customer sales fact is basically uh, it will uh, it will uh, store the data of which customers bought those products on which date and what is the value of those products right uh, so this is typical uh, data warehousing concept right where customer sales fact is a fact table and product is a dimension table i am planning to uh, create videos on star schema snowflake schema difference between both of them uh, so watch out for the, uh, th that video in future so that will kind of cover those concepts for today let's just uh, write a query right so uh, if you see if you see this data right so uh, uh, so what what they want is they want to list the products which are which did not have any sales right so either the order value should should not be there right i mean uh, uh, but the fact table typically will not keep a, keep a order right until there is a there is a sale right so it will not appear and as well as if you see this table there is if you see this table that this products had a sales but if you were to go and see the uh, product table right there are two or three more products which which are not there in the fact table so if you see all these products have a sales but jewelry and apparel does not have so what they are asking for is list the jewelry and apparel because it did not have any sales right so in this case what we need to do is we need to do a left join and this is the join concept they are trying to cover right uh, they want to know whether you know the concepts of the joining between the two tables so left join what it will do is what left outer join means whatever table is there on the left of this join right which is a product table it will bring those data even if that data does not exist in the table sales sales table right that's what we want if we do a inner join the data will not come up because the because in that case jewelry and apparel is not there in the fact table so it will not come up and we'll try that so in that case and then you have to put a condition the store order value is null because they are trying to say right that did not have any sales right so that's why you need to put this condition as well so let's just run this query if you see diamond and rings are coming up right because there did not have any sales now let's say if you do this inner join right in, instead of that you do you just do inner join uh, what you will get you will you should not get anything because uh, though if you when you are doing inner join what's happening is it is just comparing the the data between two tables it is joining in uh, you know with uh, it's not it's not going to bring those data which not ha does not have a sales right so that's why you need to use left outer join and that will probably be a right answer okay so let's move on to the next query which is a query number two and this is little tricky one right i mean this is this is very tricky query actually uh, so write a query to list the managers whose salary is less than twice the average of the salary of the employees reporting to them right so for this let's just look at two tables so one is the employee table typical employee table right employee id employee name employee city employee date of birth uh, their pin code and the salary right so if you see this right then uh, and some of these are a managers right so if you see the manager map employee hierarchy here you have six employees map employee hierarchy uh, what what you have over there is uh, 
four employees only why because the other two employees that are there in employee is a manager uh, uh, are the managers for those employees right so uh, and uh, but employee table will have it right because even manager is an employee of the organization right so that data is there right so what they are saying is list those managers so out of four and five which are the managers correct uh, this these are employees they, they are not managers these are the employees but they are the managers so 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 show me if employee four or five if their salary right if their salary is less than the twice less than twice the average of the employees reporting to them right so let's just see where the four and five are reporting right so if you see four one and six is reporting five is two and three is reporting correct so if you see four one and six right so four four is 340,000 right and 1 and 6 is 150 and 110 so what is the average of 150 and 110 260 correct 260,000 right so no no sorry that's the summation of those two employees so that's 260 and average is 260 by 2 because two employees are reporting right so the average salary is 130,000 correct 130,000 so what is the multiplication of 130 into 2 113 to 2 because twice remember they are saying twice the average salary so 130 into 2 is 260,000 260,000 okay they are saying salary is less than average so in this case 340 so it is more than average correct it is more than average so 340 is greater than 260 right so employee 4 should not be listed now let's say employee 5 so 2 and 3 so if you see 2 and 3, 200,000 plus 180,000 is 380,000. So 380,000, the average again is divided by 2 is 190,000, correct? 190,000. Now if you see the, uh, the salary of now 190,000, okay, 190,000 into 2, into 2, right? Because you have to do twice the average salary. So that is 380,000. So 380,000 and employee 5 salary is what? 300,000 right so it is less right 300,000 is less than 380,000 correct so employee 5 should come up because employee 5's Tony salary is less than 2 into average of Melissa and John's salary correct so our answer should be employee 5 right so how to get it so here we will use the concept of common table expression right so with cte so if you have worked in sql and if you build complex sql you know that with cte clause so common table expression is nothing but you are creating a temporary table with a with clause so if you see this right what i did is i created two different table one as a manager salary table and one as a uh, one as a employee average salary uh, right table because we need both right we need we need manager salary and we need the average salary of employees reporting to them right so that's why you created a two tables it's kind of a temporary table that create gets created right so we are basically what we are doing is we are creating this table on the fly right so one is what one we need manager salary correct so let's say so so how do you get manager salary you get the manager employee id from the employee hierarchy table right and then you get the salary of the manager right or uh, salary of the manager right if th that manager because we want to compare the manager salary correct so when you do that what happens is employee 5 salary is 300,000 employee 4 salary is 340,000 correct that's what you will get from here also that's a manager salary correct 4 is 345 is 300,000 correct that's what we want so and then what we want is twice the average of salary right so twice the average of salary we want to take right because we want to we, what we'll do is we'll compare both of them in the in the final query correct so what happens is you do have to do comma and then you need to write another table average em, average employee average salary is manager employee id right and then you need to do employee salary average employee salary correct and then you need to join both these tables because that's how uh, joining these two tables is is how you will get the you will get the salary right because the manager is what you will get from the employee hierarchy table 
and then the salary is stored in the employee table right so you need to join employee and uh, uh, manager employee hierarchy table okay so when you when you do this what you get is employee 4 and 5 you get and then so group by right the group by i covered in the previous video as well so average is basically aggregate function right so when you do an average you have to use a group by clause okay so when you group by we want to group by manager right because finally we want to compare the salary but we are taking remember we are taking average of the employee salary okay we have we are taking average of the employee salary because here what we are doing is we are joining on the employee id okay just remember that here what we are doing in the first one we are joining on the manager employee id correct because we want manager salary but in this one we want employee salary right we want employee salary we are printing manager name but we actually we want employee salary right employee reporting to them correct so that's why i said little tricky right i mean it's it's going to confuse you you need to you need to be you need to make sure that you are reading the question properly and then writing the query right so first you will give you manager salary so that's why you need to join on the manager employee id and employee table right uh, so that's that way you'll get manager uh, salary here you need to join by employee id in the board tables but you need to group by manager because two people are reporting to each manager right you can have five people also reporting so even if five people ten people are reporting it will do an average of the people reporting to that manager and then it will do two, two into that so if you do that then you get two into average salary correct so if you if you were to run this two two tables then you can't do that you need to write a select query okay so basically what we are doing is we are storing the manager salary in this first table and we are storing the two into average of employee salary reporting to that manager in this second table right so now what we'll do is we want to get the manager name right so we will uh, join manager table and we'll join employee table on the manager employee id right because both of them are containing manager employee id where manager salary right manager salary is less than the two two into employee salary so we are not doing two into here because we already did it here right we already did it here that's the that's the power of creating the common table expression right we are creating a table with the requirement what we have and we don't need to do that all these things in the filter condition we just need to do it here so we are getting two into average of the employee salary so simple statement right then less than manager salary is less than the two into employee average salary so when you run this query right one thing you need to remember is you need to run this query together okay otherwise it will not recognize it because if you just run this query it has to recognize right where the table is created and and that, and that table just create gets created during that run time right so that's why you need to just make sure uh, with this one the entire query is run together okay so that that is your answer employee 5 right now let's try greater than do greater than 4 will come right because 4 salary is greater than the average salary correct that's why only 4 came but the requirement is to less manager salary is less than twice the average of employee salaries report salaries of the employees reporting to that person right so manager is less than twice the average salary of employee so we got the result that we are looking for okay all right so this is the tricky question so let's let's go through right what concepts are covered in today's video so first concept that is covered is join conditions right left outer join and the filter condition also right where order value is null right the second uh, query is little advanced concept they will try and cover and this can come up in the first round of technical interview or it could come up during the loop also so so amazon does the loop right i mean if you clear the first round of interview you go with four or five people on one day and then you do a loop so several people will ask the question on on the on the relationship principle and there will be questions uh, technical question also so in in that kind of uh, loop interviews the technical interview uh, this kind of advanced question can come up right because this is basically with class with common table expression this is called common table expression so with table you create and then you create another table and then you finally join those tables to achieve the complex requirement so 
common table expression CT is uh, covered in this. Then, uh, then uh, group by is covered in this, right? We are doing group by. The average function is covered in this, right? Twice into average function, and then finally comparing the data in the final query, right? That is covered in this. So uh, uh, that's it for today. I hope you like the video. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. If you if you if you enjoy my videos and if you feel like it is it is helping you uh, with preparing for the interview or in your day to day job functions also, if it is helping you, I I I I, I really appreciate if you could uh, subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thanks, guys.